Sleeper, this is a very, very serious chokehold. The way I'm going to show you, it's going to cut off the carotid arteries on both sides. If you practice this at home, you'd be very, very cautious. A lot of police departments aren't even allowed to use this move because they don't really know how to enforce it. When you shut down the flow of oxygen to and from the brain, you got some major problems. You're shut down the whole life system. The brain needs oxygen. When cells die in the brain, they're dead forever. There's an ironic thing with our body. Study the human behavior of it and the mechanics of it to know what it's doing. The flow of blood goes up one side and it takes the, uh, out the other side. But in our arms, we have veins, and there's locks in the veins where the blood can only flow one way, but not in our head. Blood can flow in both directions. You can actually hear this if you want to. If you ever pick up a seashell and put it to your ear and you go, hey, that's the ocean, that's the actual sound of the fluid in your own head that you're listening to. Be very careful with this one. We're going to bring Diane out and show you how to do it very, very slowly. As Diane comes out, she's going to throw a right-hand punch. As she throws it, I'm going to strike her respiratory system right here, coming across her chest, striking. I'm going to come in, checking the arm, shooting a punch right through her face, locking around. I'm going to take her throat now and drive it right into the forearm, the bend of my arm. Now I'm going to cut off the carotid artery completely by putting my arm under, grabbing my bicep, and going straight back. It would be a matter of moments she would be completely subconscious. That's why I'm going to release her now. You can notice by looking in this tape, you might see the color in her face get brighter and brighter. She might get a little, little off. Why? I've shut off the blood. I've shut off the oxygen. That's food. That's energy. You need that. Let's do it again. Comes in. Strike. Right here. Come up. Check off the leg. Shoot a punch right through her face. Come around. Lock it up. Settle into position right here. This is all mine. The more she struggles, the faster she goes unconscious. One more time. Comes in. Strike, come up, throw the punch through, shove the head in, grab, lock it down right here. This is a very, very serious. It's more than a sleeper. It can be death. Let's see it again. Come across. Let's look at it on this side. As Diane comes in, I'm striking across the chest. Bingo, just like I'm hitting her with a two by four. From here, I come up, shoot a punch right through her face. Take it around. The bend of my arm right here, I want to shove her throat right into that. Lock my head, falling back, holding her right here. She'll stop struggling just in a matter of seconds. Last time, comes in, strike, hit, shut, lock, <laughs> right here. This person's mine now, completely out. My knee's in the back of her spine. Again, if you're practicing this one, be very, very cautious. This is a life or death situation. Remember, we deal with hurt, maim, and kill. This one's definitely on the list for kill. Watch how you're doing it. Accidents do happen. Be very, very cautious. Anything on this one, call me. I'll help you with it. Strike, hit, shut, lock, <laughs> ugh!